I'm gonna start out with rainbow colored papers that measure about six inches by six inches. The book doesn't have to be rainbow, but for this tutorial, I'm making it in rainbow colors. So the first step is you wanna fold it in half. I tell the kids, make sure the edges and corners are even Stevens. You can also use the term kissing. Then you open it and now you're gonna fold it in half the other way. So you're basically creating a giant plus sign on your paper. Open it up, and the last fold is you wanna do corner to corner. You only wanna do this on one side, not both. The next step is the trickiest and where kids struggle the most. Um, I rely on kids who get it and they can help other kids and then I go in and help kids who don't get it. But usually after seeing it one or two times, kids will get this step. So you want to take this, so it's still folded in a triangle, put your thumb in the middle and kind of pop the paper. So now it is kind of like curved on the sides. I tell the kids you want to pinch the fold that is in the corner. So we're going to pinch it. You want to bring one down and the other and then fold the top like a sandwich. So when you open it, like this. Okay, one more time. You're going to fold it in half. Open it. Fold it in half the other way. Sometimes you can call these hamburgers and hot dog folds, but this is a square piece of paper, so it doesn't really work. And then once corner to corner. Okay. Now, while leaving it folded like a triangle, you wanna push with your thumb till it pops. Grab the corner to corner fold. So we're just taking this fold to here. Do it with the other side. And now fold the top down and smush it down. You wanna do this so that you have all the rainbow colors of papers so you can create a rainbow book. So the next step is you are going to take your glue stick and you are going to put glue on the front of the red. Cover it with a glue stick. Don't use liquid Elmer's with this. And then you are going to stick the orange right on top. It's important to make sure that they're both opening the same way when you do this. If you don't do it, fold it this way, you'll get a cool surprise open folding book, but it won't open like a flower. So it won't open together like this. It still looks cool. I tell the kids to look for the folded corner. Um, that's the middle of their paper, or I tell them to put it in their hands and make sure that they're folding and opening up the same before they um, glue them down. So I am going to go ahead and do this with all my papers now. Okay, now I have my book all glued together. Um, when I was gluing it together, I just made sure all the middles of the pages were all together. So now when I open it, and it opens all together, it opens up like a color wheel. You can call it a flower, an origami pop-up book. 
and it's pretty cool. It's like a really big hit in the art room when the kids make these, um, especially when you show them they can open it all the way up and create a flower. Now from here, if you want to add a cover to the book, it's super easy. So this book has a smaller cover, so the pages fit right into the book. Um, this cardboard is a little bit bigger to create a bigger surface for your um, front cover. This one is measuring four inches um, by a little bit four inches, let's just say. Let's cut a little bit off this side. All right, so you want to take some scrapbook paper. This is not cardstock, this is the thinner paper. And you want to cover one side of this with glue. All right, from here, I tell the kids pick one side. Fold down, one side, cover it with glue. Fold and crease along the edge of the cardboard and just press down. Go to the opposite side, cover with glue. Press up against your cardboard and then do the other two sides. And there you go. You have a beautiful patterned cover for your book and it is, since it's tag board or cardboard, it's like a hard cover. So you wanna make two of these for a front cover and a back cover of your book. Okay, now I have a front and a back cover for my book. So to glue it onto my origami book, so that um, I have a protective cover. What I'm gonna do is cover the front with glue, just like I did to glue the book together, only this time I'm gonna put it in the middle of the cover I just made to cover up this hole right here of cardboard. That's how you can identify which side is which. So when you turn it over, this is now the front cover of my book. And now I'm gonna do it for the back cover. And there you go, you have a hardcover book that opens up like a flower. It's got a front cover, a back cover, it's in rainbow order, you've taught 3D origami paper folding, a pop-out book, whatever you wanna call it. From here, so many possibilities of what you can do with this book. I usually have my kids make a self-portrait book. So we collage construction paper to make a self-portrait. And then on the pages on the inside, they describe all about themselves. Each page is something different about themselves. Um, and I give the kids examples. So you can talk about your favorite number, your favorite color, what you wanna do when you're older, your favorite place to vacation, your favorite season. They can talk about their pets, their siblings or families. Um, so many possibilities with this book and you can really make it anything you want. I hope you really like this tutorial. I can't wait to see the origami flowering rainbow pop-up books that you create with this tutorial. I'll see you again next time. Bye!